Greetings and welcome once again to Living Supernaturally. Thank you so much for giving us this opportunity to come together to meditate on God's Word and spend a few moments in prayer as well. We start this week uh, by talking about submission. 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 13 to 17. Therefore, submit yourselves to every ordinance of man for the Lord's sake, whether the king as supreme or to governors, as to those who are sent by him for the punishment of evildoers and for the praise of those who do good. For this is the will of God, that by doing good you may put to silence the ignorance of foolish men, as free yet not using liberty as a cloak for vice, but as born servants of God. Honour all people, love the brotherhood, fear God, honour the King. This week we'll be talking about submission. The word submission makes many Christians uncomfortable. We may come to think as submission as oppressive. The Bible teaches us that submission is the appropriate demeanor for God's children. In his writings, Peter teaches us that the child of God is to submit to every authority, whether in the government, whether employment, in marriage, community, or in the church. Since the Lord instituted authorities, to disobey them is to disobey God. So what does it mean to submit? Like a car yielding to traffic, submission means blending into the flow of God's kingdom. Now, it sounds simple enough, but most of us dislike the idea of being submitting. Some of us even suggest that it is the enemy of freedom. The truth, though, is that God provides grace and freedom through submission. Let's look at the example of our Lord Jesus Christ. Christ lived in perfect submission to the Father. The Father did not coerce Him to become flesh and dwell among us. Jesus, by His own will, submitted and chose to enter into this fallen world. He chose to give His life, lay His life down on the cross so that we could be saved through Him. Jesus Christ came from heaven of His own volition to die on the cross. He chose to place Himself under the authority of the Father while incarnate. Matthew describes and records Christ's perfect submission in the Garden of Gethsemane the night before His crucifixion. Even with the terror of death looming, Christ did not exercise His own but he obeys his father and he says, not my will, but let your will be done. This is a perfect example of submission. We submit ourselves to Christ because he submitted to God for our sake. Through the power of the Holy Spirit, you and I are empowered to submit. Are you willing to submit to authority? Are you willing? to submit to the Lord Jesus Christ. Your answer may reveal whether you are content to live as one of God's chosen people in this world. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for your presence. We thank you for your word. We thank you, Lord, that you have called us to submit we pray, God, that each one of us will submit our heart, our mind, our will, our emotions to you. We pray, God, that we will find freedom in submission. We will follow you with all of our hearts. We thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.